Another Ramadan is refreshed by Coca-Cola and nourished by Checkers Custard. Salamu alaikum musulmin duniya baki daya lokacin sahur ko bude baki ku kasance tare da chakas custard domin chakas custard ya dace da masu yin azumi ramadan mubarak masu yana Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam wa ala rasulillah Muhammad ibn Abdullah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man sara ala nahjihi ila yawmiddin In the name of Allah the most gracious and the most merciful All praises and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The Lord of the Alameen The giver of life and the causer of death While death has no effect upon Allah the one and only owner of the entire universe and beyond. To him alone belongs all our praises and thanks. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon the noblest of messengers, Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Welcome back again to another episode of the talk segment of another Ramadan. I remain your brother. Muhammad Saeed, and of course, with me here on the show is my sister. Sophia Salahuddin, Sophie Tawa. Asalaamu Alaikum, Mr. Tawa. Wa Alaikum, Asalaamu Alaikum, Mr. Tawa. How are you doing today? I'm fine, Alhamdulillah. Ramadan is picking up the pace. Yeah, you can see. You can see my face already. Oh, mashallah, Mashallah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, may Allah Jalla make it easy for us. Amen. Uh, get us to the end of the final lap. Uh, it's um, a lot of things has been happening, you know, on the news and a lot of you know. Things. But alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, we give thanks to Allah. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, as we know, we all know the drill. Uh, we have a scholar in the building uh, who introduced to us and a fantastic topic to talk about. Before I unveil the sheikh in the building, I would like to go on a very short break, and when we return, I will uh, present to you. Uh, the Sheikh in the building, inshallah. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. In Ramadan, we are all connected. We all have the same empathy towards one another. We all feel the same rush to catch the moment of iftar and walk into the same special home cooked meals. Every Ramadan, we are one when we fast, but not always when we break fast. This Ramadan, let's break fast together. Coca-Cola, real wonder. Enjoy the delicious creamy goodness of cowbells with Vitarich and vitamin B9 which supports brain development. Cowbell, so creamy, so good. Welcome back to the talk segment of Another Ramadan. You agree with me that we've been having a series of interesting episodes on this talk show. If you miss anyone or you feel like you just want to watch again, do well to give us a follow on Instagram at Another Ramadan TV series. 
You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Another Ramadan TV. Now, today's topic, we're talking about the welfare of Muslim rivers. Mr. Moon, who is our guest? Ah, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Sophia. Uh, our guest, we've met our guest before, uh, he is no other than uh, our beloved Imam, Imam Sunni K. Yusuf. Um, he is the Grand Imam of Al Fawz Central Masjid here in Lagos. Assalamu alaikum, Imam. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Back again. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> It's good to have you again uh, on the show. Uh, Thank you. It's um, today, inshallah, we'll be discussing about the new gems, the new soul, the saved soul by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the new reverts. Hmm. We want to talk about the people who have pondered and think and they decide to return to Islam. Ya Sheikh, first of all, I'd like to, I'd like us to to clarify one thing, is it Muslim convert or Muslim revert? A lot of people have uh, some, they, they use these these words interchangeably. Convert or revert. Yeah, is it convert or revert? What's the right term? What's the right term to be used for people who left all the things that they were doing and then decide to become Muslims? Muslims. Uh, well, alhamdulillah, wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Uh, thank you for having me again. Um, you're welcome, sir. Convert, revert, like you said, both are used interchangeably. Mm -hmm. But um, there is a crystal clear difference between the two words. Yep. Um, a convert is somebody... <coughs> I will have it streamlined to Islam now. A, a, a convert is somebody who is believed to have newly embraced Islam or newly embraced a particular religion. That's a convert. That's in a general. convert. So a revert is somebody who had been uh, or who had once in, in practiced religion. a particular religion, and then left it, and then returned to it. Okay. That's a revert. I think who you're getting it a, now. Who, who has been in a religion before, left, left it, it, and then, then returned to, it. to, it. to the religion. That's a revert. Now, streamlined to Islam, which one is more appropriate between the two? Well, I think it is a revert. Wow. Considering the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we are, he said, Kullu mawludin yuladu ala al-fitra fa'abawahu yuhawidanihi aw yunassaranihi aw yumajjisani That every child is born a Muslim. Hmm. Every child is Everybody. born a Muslim. فَأَبَوَاهُ يُحَوِدَانِهِ أَوْ يُنَسَّرَانِهِ أَوْ يُمَجِّسَانِهِ What that means, it is the parents that would either make him remain as a Muslim or become a non-Muslim. Mm. Mm. So when he grows up, okay, for, for better understanding, let's assume that um, the child had been you know, made to practice another religion, and then having grown up, he, you know, decides to practice Islam, to come back to Islam. So such a person will not be referred to as a convert, because when he was born, he was a Muslim. He was a Muslim. You're because getting it now. So you refer Muslim. to such a person as a revert. And not a convert. All right, uh, yeah, Sheikh. Mm. Without uh, wasting much of our time, as someone who is um, having the feelings towards Islam, he or she is convinced that yes, Islam is the the religion of God, the religion of Allah. How 
do you become a Muslim? What are the steps? How do you become a Muslim? And how, in addition to that, how do we, that we are Muslims, how do we indoctrinate the person into Islam? Okay, um, to become Muslim is very simple. It is, it's very simple, it's very simple. It's just about embracing Islam, huh. you know. Uh, you embrace Islam, there is no need for any membership card, no <laughs> membership form, nothing. Just proclaim that thing that makes Muslims Muslims. And what is that? That is La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. That there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. messenger. This is expected to be proclaimed with the tongue, the mind, and of course, the action. So after that, you take what is called Guslu Dukhul al Islam. Mm. Al Guslu Dukhul al Islam. Uh, Guslu means ritual bath, you know, that. Um, you know, Muslims know it, so, and it has different types. Yeah. So one of them is the one taken by uh, whoever, a, 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 a revert, yeah. a revert, somebody that just uh, reverted Islam. to uh, Islam. So number three is for him or her to start practicing Islam. How? By observing Salah. Mm because you cannot be a Muslim by mouth. You have to be a Muslim by action, by practice. Sophia. All right, sir. <clears throat> You've talked about um, those people coming into Islam being called revert and not convert. So if we should have a revert in our midst, and then, you know, they are just coming into Islam. They do not really know much about the religion and they are still undergoing some learning. So then, what is the role of the Muslim Ummah on them? Because you find ourselves in the age that maybe we meet them ourselves in mosque, and then after Assalamu alaikum, Assalamu alaikum, the person stood up and start going, and people start laughing like, you cannot even do your askar, you cannot do nawafi, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They are not meant to mock the person, right? Mm -hmm. So what are the roles of the Muslim Ummah on, the, on those reverts? Hmm. This is a serious one. Absolutely. Um, we should uh, embrace them. We should accept them. We should accommodate them. And, you know, first impression, they say, lasts longer. Um, we shouldn't show them negative attitude we shouldn't um you know uh, assume and that uh, mm, you know we didn't know too we exactly. learned exactly. before we knew islam so we need to encourage them let me give an example um some four or five years ago we were have it was ramadan time like this and they wanted to have iftar in the masjid, in, a, in the mosque, you know, people would come in, you know, and eat with us. So I was outside and I saw a lady in miniskirt hmm. with a skimpy hijab. You know, the dressing was on Islamic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. aside the skimpy hijab that she wore. I, 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 I felt somehow in the mosque, you know, and people started looking at her. What kind of a person is this? So she walked up to somebody and asked, please, who is the Imam? And the person pointed to me. And she came around, Wallahi, to tell me that her brother, who had earlier spoken to me hmm. of a sister, wanting to practice Islam. The lady actually came to learn 
more about Islam. Mm -hmm. You know, so I give her a warm welcome. Mashallah. I sat her down and we spoke that day. And the therapy has start from there. This is how reverts should be treated. We need to accommodate that. And we should Embrace also them. bear in mind that they are coming from, you know, uh, <laughs> they are coming from somewhere. They are new, so they don't know Islam. They are likely to, you, you might even find some of them clapping in the mosque. Yeah. You know, yeah. you might see them even dancing on solar, spontaneous dancing. Yeah. You know, it's been part and parcel of them. We need to calm down and accommodate them. Absolutely. Thank um, you so much. Um, Thank you very much, Yashak. Uh, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram uh, at another Ramadan TV series. Uh, and of course, you can catch the previous episodes that we've done uh, in the same. On behalf of myself and the whole crew here um, in the studio, uh, we greet you all with the best of greetings with Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Enjoy the delicious creamy goodness of cowbell with Vitarich and vitamin B9 which supports brain development. Cowbell, so creamy, so good. Assalamu alaikum, Muslim dunia baki daya. Lokacin sahur ko bude baki ku kasance tare da Chakas Custard. Domin Chakas Custard ya dace da masu azumi. Ramadan Mubarak Masuyana. Allah, there's only one God and we are the children of Adam. Allah, la ilaha illallah. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. I can see the sheep is white, like most sheep are, yes, okay. So look at it, what do you think of the picture, of the coloring? Uh, yes, it looks real. I like that the fire is there, red as well, that? very red, beautiful. So can we look at what the girls have done? Nice, nice and colorful. Ooh, that's yes, good, yes, actually. it's beautiful, mashallah. Okay, did you guys enjoy that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So about we do one last little game, but before we do that, let's stretch, okay? So we'll be right back. We just want to take a break to stretch and then we'll do one little activity, drawing activity. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Welcome back. Okay, so children, it's drawing time. So we're playing a game where you pick the card that says to draw and you follow the instruction on the card. Whatever card you pick, whatever um, you follow, if it says to draw, whatever it says you should draw is what you draw. So let's say the card says draw a ball, you draw a ball. Okay? Okay. So um so, so this is to draw a star, a bee, a mosque, smiling or a spider web. Eyes closed. Spider web. No, there's no one to close his eyes. Okay, so which one do you want to draw? Smiling, a mosque, a bee, or a star? I just draw spider man. Draw whatever you know how to draw, that's fine. Good. Yes, you. A mask, okay. So what would you like to draw? Okay. And here you go, you have to draw the B. So here's a sheet for each person. Yeah, you go. Here you go. Here you go. And here you go. Yes. So Bismillah, let's go. Bismillah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have drawing going on. How is it going? Fine. 
Okay, you're drawing the spider web. Please write your name on your paper. What have you drawn? A star. Okay, we'll write your name. Okay, no problem. We'll do that. Bilal is drawing a mosque. Mashallah. Okay. And Jamil and Jacinda is drawing what? A smiley face. Because smiling is sunna. Yes. Do you know smiling is sunna? That's why I'm trying to smile. Oh, nice. So, do you know Surah An Najm is called, is prefaced, the word An Najm means star. So, there's a Surah in the Quran that's Surah An Najm, which is star. An Najm means star. So, you are drawing a spider web, inspired by Surah An Kabut. The story of spider. And that's okay. As long as there's a web there, well done. So Bilal is trying to draw Masjid Aqsa, that's the, mosque. yes, in Jerusalem, that's the first place that Muslims used to face before we were directed to face the Kaaba. You this is interesting, you okay? Like I know I would like it. I like Jala, um, Jala's confidence, he said, you would definitely like my drawing. I will, yes. That's the okay. captain, Jala. Okay, beautiful. Oh my goodness. He actually did a good job. No lies told. Okay, so children, can we wrap it up? Are we through? Almost. Summary of today's um, learning. What have you learned now? Learned that smiling is sooner. Yes, smiling is sooner. What's my name? Because we'll let that mosque But I want to write the name of Mas Jade, I want yes. to wait. I want to write the name of what I drew. Baby. That's a spider web. And what's the spider called in Arabic? A what? Spider. Called in Arabic. Yes, and kaboots. And kaboots, yes. Wait, wait, okay. See it. So, okay, so Jacina Azeb Jamila draw the star, a beautiful star. And Najim, right? Najim. This is Najim. Oh, there's something interesting I just saw uh -huh. in Jacina's. Um, Jacina said. Drawing, so yes. Why it looks like this? Yeah. Yes, let's see. It does. So Jacina's drawing is the sunna, which says smiling is sunna, yes. and the drawing has the braces. The smiley face has the braces on. No, no, no. You're supposed to draw masjid. Also, this is beautiful. Not only did he draw masjid, uh, masjid, and not just that, he put the crescent, the crescent star. The crystal and star, moon and star, and that's beautiful. So well done, mashallah. Okay, let's have yours, Jawad. A bee he has drawn the bee. See, see, yes, that's beautiful. And now, and he actually wrote the Arabic word for it. And now, okay, so well, let's see what Jalal has done. Captain Jalal told me while he was drawing, you would definitely like my drawing, and he did like absolutely not. He was supposed to draw a spider web. He went the extra mile. He drew Spider Man, a spider web, and here Spider Man is still spinning more webs. So beautiful. I love the creativity behind this. So well done, Jalal. Okay, I definitely love your drawing. Keep it up. Aha, mashallah. So, children, I've had fun. It's been exciting for me. I hope you all had fun too. Yeah. I hope you all had fun too. Yeah. yeah. You love to continue drawing and coloring. Me. I would love to. Unfortunately, we have to wrap it up for today. And audience who've been watching, thank you for being a part of this. You can also draw as well and color at home. We look forward to seeing you next time soon, inshallah. Oh, so, I children, for more, what do we say? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. And Ramadan Mubarak. In Ramadan, we are all connected. We all have the same empathy towards one another. We all feel the same rush to catch the moment of iftar and walk into the same special home-cooked meals. Every Ramadan, we are one when we fast, but not always when we break fast. This Ramadan, let's break fast together. Coca-Cola, real wonder. Dum -dum. Dum 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 dum
But my dad worked, all my Muslim brothers and sisters. And I trust you've been trying out our recipes. If you have not, please do well to go over our previous video. And for you, I'm having a special, special recipe today. We'll be doing chicken shawarma. Now, for your chicken shawarma, basically, you need your chicken breast, which has been shredded. You need your vegetables. You can as well freestyle with your vegetables, add as much as you want or minimize it to your taste. We have sauteed onion here and we have our vegetable oil for pan frying our chicken. We also have our bread, we have our sausages and in this bowl right here, we have our mixed spices that we'll be using for marinating our chicken and our mix, our shawarma mix, homemade shawarma mix. First off, we need to wash our hands. Dum, 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 dum. In goes your chicken already shredded. We're just going to combine our spice. So combining your spice and your chicken, you can allow to sit or you can fry directly almost immediately. We can fry our chicken now. First, we're just going to turn on our heat. I'm adding our vegetable oil. Just a bit of it. So which we're going to be adding our marinated chicken breast. Just a lot of fun. All right, so here we have our pan grilled um, chicken breast. So we're assembling all the ingredients together. For that, we need our chopping board. Our chopping board has been washed. And all you just have to do is to layer your bread. Our two bread here. I'm going to be adding cream. Going to be adding our sauteed onion first. We're adding some cabbage. And customize as you want. And some carrots. Carrots and lettuce. To this. Your chicken. Some more cream. Maybe some more vegetables to top it. Ready pan grilled our sausage. This is optional. And I need two. Yeah. And now uh, I'm going to roll. Okay. okay, so after wrapping our shawarma, we're just going to place it on heat. You can actually use your grill, your oven, just to make this hot for you. But once it's readily accessible to most persons, just your pan and your stove top and that's what I'll be using for the purpose of this. I just want you to try out our recipe because it's easy to make and you have everything in your kitchen so you definitely do not have an excuse. Just ensure your pan is hot and just place this on it for about two to three minutes on each side. So our pan is heated already so I'll just place this on it. So what this does, it keeps it warm and also helps us seal everything together. So this is our big size shawarma. I'll be cutting it through. And we're serving this our shawarma with the refreshing Coca-Cola drink.
Continue watching another Ramadan TV. Continue watching another Ramadan TV on YouTube. Could keep watching another Ramadan TV on YouTube. Continue watching another Ramadan TV on YouTube. Continue watching another Ramadan TV. Stay tuned. Subscribe as well. Thank you. Salam alaikum to the too. Bye. Another Ramadan is refreshed by Coca Cola and nourished by Checkers Custard. Dum, 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 dum.